Salutations viewer, Alphabet Guy here, and welcome to the tutorial for G1 Fishing, brought to you by Mythic Servers. I'm going to be covering the basics of basic fishing and soon advancing to the advanced fishing portion. So without further delay, let's get to it. To start off your fishing in Devor, you must be familiar with their basic fishing components. The fishing rod, the fishing hook, and the bait. To assemble it, follow what I do. Attach the hook to the rod, and stick that bait onto the hook. Pretty easy to do, and now you're all set. Now I'm sure you're familiar with real life fishing. It takes a while to get your catch, so patience is key. Getting a catch will yield a notification to pull your hook out of the water. Afterwards, to unhook your catch, press E on your keyboard. Now the bait I used is one of four types, each being able to catch different types of things. But the bait I used is the only bait that is free amongst the four, so keep that in mind when buying. So you got your catch, now what? Well, you can hold on to it and make neat little homes from the things you catch, or you can equip the prop manipulator to sell your catch by pressing left click and it will add to your total on the top left. I'm certain as you continue fishing that you will encounter this chain box here. What it does is spot a random type of NPC in front of you, good or bad. Unfortunately, I got a bad NPC so I have to shoot it. But the novice mistake new fishers make is assuming all NPCs are hostile. That will probably have repercussions in later time. Not all NPCs are bad, and the status is shown by the hue they garner. Good being blue, and hostile being red. Pretty self-explanatory when you look out for that. After fishing for a while, you'll start to allocate a large sum of money in your pockets, and you're looking for a way to spend it on things other than bait. By looking at your inventory, you will notice several tabs with a motley of things that you can purchase. But let's focus on these three things here for now, starting with the physics gun, or fizz gun for short. This fizz gun makes tasks easier compared to the gravity gun you start with. Keep in mind the things you buy aren't permanent unless it is from the store in the F2 menu. But it allows you to manipulate props that are otherwise too heavy for your grav gun to carry on its own, and be able to freeze certain things, probably making your fishing a lot more convenient. That concludes the basic part of fishing. When you're ever bored of the same old thing of catching and selling and want to actually fish and hold a rod in your hands rather than having it lie on the ground, then you're in luck. By buying the advanced fishing rod in the menu where you got the fizz gun and selecting it in the fourth tab, you're now able to hold the rod in your hand. The directions on how to use it is in the select information, but I'll tell you since you're watching. To extend the line, hold down left click. To reel in your line, hold down right click. When holding shift while doing any of the two actions, you will extend or reel faster than normal. To release your catch, press your reload key. And to sell it, press the same key that you used to release it. The unique thing about the advanced fishing rod is the advanced fishing menu. Access it by pressing B on your keyboard. Here, you can modify your rod to your liking, from the reel speed to the hook force, and also access different types of bait as you level up your rod. Keep in mind that the money you earn from the advanced fishing rod is different than the money you get from your basic fishing rod. And last but not least, the infamous seagull, exclusive to the advanced fishing rod. This guy will be your main contender for your catch, so the best way to deal with them is by either freezing the prop or the seagull, and you can shoot them for money too. But if you don't have a fizz gun, you can try and quickly sell your catch before they get to it. And if you're lucky, another person who has one will try and yank him out of the skies. That's it everyone. I hope you learned something and tolerate watching this video. Surely there will be more videos being made as I brushed only on how to fish, and there's more to it than meets the eye. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask me on the server. I'll be around to help, and that's kind of my job. Thanks for watching. This is Fluffy Guy, and I bid you farewell.